Hey, pack leaders, this is Hien with Friends and protecting families for protecting the pack. Uh, I want to do this video about uh, maybe uh, crypto success, crypto victory. What do we do after we made it? Um, and we're starting to see signs of it. And we're, we're kind of doing our compounding calculator and we see it we're like, wow, this is going to be crazy in a couple months. As long as we don't sabotage ourselves, right? Um, so, what? But we're kind of feeling like, dude, what do we, what do we do with ourselves now? Like, like, like the struggle is gone. Like we don't have the, um, like, it's done. <laughs> uh, so what's next? So uh, this is what this video is about. So uh, I do kind of want to maybe talk about cash flow, uh, maybe the basics of that, because I know that once it grows to point out that's so big like you don't want to be throwing million dollar orders on, on onto the uh onto the trade right so most likely once it gets to like maybe half a million or 100k or above somewhere around there uh that's a little bit uh right now it's, that's a little okay but once it gets to be like a million per whatever or you, you see million dollar orders constantly or maybe five ten whatever it is that just seems out of the ordinary on the trade books uh you're gonna have to break that up so if it gets to that point is to then you're going to have to start either shifting that and taking it to your cold wallet and then spinning up more bots to that and then just kind of like diluting it and just spreading that out so that you have multiple bots kind of like going out and if it gets to that cap again um spread it out into more okay and it gets to the point where it's like well um I mean, I, I, w I would say I don't know what else you want to invest in that's better than this, <laughs> right? Um, uh, kind of thing. But then it gets to the point where it's like maybe you need to start using that for uh, something for a greater good other than ourselves. Kind of like, uh, I don't know if it's Bill Gates and all that stuff doing philanthropy and all this other stuff, building things that they see pro solving problems like Elon Musk, um, humanity needs to go to Mars and uh you know traffic this is so draining we need to solve those problems so um um imagine imagine you can create a company that can solve a, an awesome problem but you're not scared that you would lose because you have a backing of of investors you i mean maybe a backing of a big a big fund that would say hey no whether you win or lose don't worry uh we got your back we got the money to fund it uh, imagine how confident you would be in building a successful company that would win. Your decisions aren't tainted by whether you can make the next payment, whether you can sleep on the couch if you if this loses or not. Uh, you kind of know that uh, that it will succeed no matter what troubles and how much time it takes for you to get there. If you're gonna if you want to fly to Mars, you will fly to Mars no matter what it takes and no matter how much it costs okay kind of thing all right so now it's just limited to your imagination maybe you don't have that maybe you don't have a family maybe you just want to go on vacation or maybe you got to do what you got to do um but if you're young and, and bold and it's only limited by your creativity then it's kind of limited by your creativity unless you say hey you put a little little bit out and say hey send me your i guess that's how scholarships come about like send me your innovation you could be a, a shark tank right uh where i'm just limited by ideas now i got you know you got all the money in the world like those billionaires right and you're like i just need some ideas so you have your own shark tank show you bring me your ideas and i think it's a good idea we'll back you uh kind of thing and you get a piece of it right uh and you don't have to be all you know trying to code something or trying to solve a problem you let them solve it and you use you can back them and 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 with unlimited as much as you need to to make it work all right um so but yeah uh, another thing would be um you know a team will make and break you so if you're going to start some company you need to go find out the innovation the of people the smarts uh the highest top of the you know notch people and recruit them as your team okay and i think that's what elon does he, he with his artificial intelligence for the car like he needed some kind of machine that not just regular cpu that can crunch ai and kind of drive self-drive the car uh and he found the best of the best uh, to create that hardware that will solve ai for visual you know driving kind of thing 
and he done it and so uh, now it's just a matter of who who has the best team who can assemble the best team will win the next game okay and um and I, I know that uh, some people you know, all they really wanted to just get out of their nine to five and then once it, that's achieved you're like um, you know what do I do now and it's, and it, it is yeah the struggle is real <laughs> okay um, sometimes I do feel that sometimes I, I you know maybe it's, you know depending on your phase of life where you have kids and family maybe it's just time to just maybe calm down and just um, spend time with the kids because um, they're growing up so fast and, and that's kind of what I started with was so that you can be there for your children for your wife um, take them on date nights and you know no money fights kind of thing and I, I what I do find myself is that I still kind of do things for myself being selfish you know uh, so you have to kind of look beyond being selfish that I'm just like okay well what's my next idea what's my next idea but that's all me 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 and then pretty soon I'm like, dude, my daughter's now eight and turning 18 in 10 years, right? That's gonna go by fast. And maybe it's time just to, you know, even though I talked about the business and the innovation and look beyond, but sometimes the most important people that matter that you need to be a part of is is in your family. Um, and then once they're all gone and they're like, good, um, then start to create the awesome ideas later because you've already, done that part that phase of your life and you can then look beyond and serve other people out there going to mars or the next driving car or whatever right uh and because that that's going to take time a lot of time a lot of money a lot of resources and, and and all that other stuff okay and where do you get all these ideas uh read books you're gonna have to watch youtube learn from others take some new classes and i think that that's probably it too is a I would probably invest in more courses to learn things that I, I want to do. Maybe I'll take some more scuba diving classes. I'll take some shooting classes. Uh, you know, kind of include in my draw or maybe do some more AR stuff. Maybe some sniper, whatever. That sounds kind of cool. I want to learn some how to do that. Long range ballistics. Maybe build a rail gun. I don't know. <laughs> that might be cool too. And then maybe start a uh, a defense company with uh, with some cool 3D printed whatever uh, kind of thing. Uh, so those are some of the ideas I, I have in my mind. Uh, but I want to I, I do before I do all those I need to make sure that I focus on my my children and that I instill the values and kind of be there for them as they're growing up because I know that that's that was so important um, for me. Uh, because my, my dad was there and I had to learn things on my own and uh, I know that I will feel even though I, I I say that right now but I know that when I'm trying to teach my kids they're like I don't need you there I can do it all by myself whatever right and you're like how oh, I can oh, I, you know, kind of give them a backhand kind of thing right and I think I would probably do the same too uh, uh, you know as a kid uh, with my dad like oh I, could, I handle it I got this dad and and, it's, and you just gotta have to give your kid you know grace and uh, know what they're you know going through they're just going through this phase of trying to be independent and self-sufficient themselves and not need anybody and but you're like it's like dude I'm here for you don't be foolish <laughs> kind of thing right so um, but then you know let them make the mistake uh, I, I will like they offer help you don't want it okay whatever you know? <laughs> and uh, you know but just encourage that you know just share new things with them new experiences and I wouldn't mind taking them to like, you know, the karate class, being you know, the whole family going and, you know, scuba classes and maybe some archery classes together and, you know, just learn things as a family and just kind of instilling and just let them try new things. And and so I'd rather buy education. I'd rather buy courses, education and do it together as a family and fun, act, memorable activities and uh, be part of that, even though we can, we can then afford to. Um, kind of thing and then just sometimes uh, teaching them what you know and sometimes uh, they don't want to learn they're like nope this is the the time this is the hour and I know if to them that it feels like you know pulling teeth and making them read a rich dad poor dad book or whatever you're like oh, you know but you but the thing is that you know uh, you know that it's good for them and they know that it's good for them someday but not right now <laughs> while they're you know they're not interested in it uh, but they will probably thank us later, uh, and I and I and I wish I had that influence. But you know, there's always YouTube. But you know, sometimes you know, it's just training the mindset to know where to look, 
to uh, to find information and not just the conventional school system K to whatever kind of thing okay and if anything buy some assets um, maybe some multifamily uh, you know rather than a college degree uh, you know buy them an asset where they can make money uh, and I know there's this thing where legacy where they call it shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves in three generations where you start off poor in the second generation uh, you know, you work you know first generation you work hard you start off poor and then you kind of made it second generation like oh cool I got all this money and they're, they're like uh, don't know how to you know use it and they're just kind of spoiling they were kind of spoiled or whatever or no we, we don't spoil that much because because they're our, our kids so we train them right and then the kids after that third generation they're spoiled and then they squander everything and then and then all of that just goes away and all that's for naught so and then they go back to, sh to short sleeves again kind of thing they go back to being poor uh because uh, they didn't realize the, the essence of hard work and all this other stuff so what's more important is that we also train a legacy uh recording some kind of video system that we can pass down from generation to generation and maybe a system where you know, kind of like the I, I think the um, there was a lesson well, Rockefeller versus the uh, what's the one that has owned the banks I forgot the name uh, whatever anyways but they would meet once a year and say you can borrow as much money as you want but you have to do have to pay it back and I think they use the life insurance money whatever but uh, but then you can invest in anything you want. So that it's like we'll back you, okay? But you have to pay it back, and one, you have to meet once a year as the whole family and talk about ideas and creation, creative stuff, and and see what ideas you want to do, and then kind of you know, kind of kind of like get together, create ideas, and then we'll kind of help each other and back back out. But it's just more like motivating them to meet together as a family and kind of the bond of family, but also motivating each other to go create something and build something kind of thing all right and not just squander it on you know booze and women kind of thing okay um yeah so i think i'll probably have to do something similar to that too i think i, I know it's very hard uh there's a book called legacy i think i read it already where you have to write it down but someone has to kind of in a sense distribute it properly and train them properly and maybe certify them properly uh, it's uh, it's gonna be hard because it's you know once it's family they're like yeah I don't care dad I want to do whatever I want and, you know whatever and it's hard to kind of you know kind of lead a horse to water you can't make them drink kind of thing right uh, and sometimes you just gotta let them learn and we're all here temporary right and so we, we're gonna enjoy the best that we can and then whatever's left over it's up to the kids and hopefully we you know told them you know you taught them Christ and who God is and to love the Lord to have a heart to, to give and serve and um, and you know share the gospel uh, which is also important too because um, I think I need to lead that uh, I think so it's something along the line where you know we can help people but don't forget to share the gospel because uh, all this stuff in this world is temporary we're gonna be here as a temporary since we're just a vapor in this span of time of, of millennia and billions of trillions of years right we're just here for a small vapor of time and uh and but our soul is eternal right so if we do know jesus christ as the lord and savior who saved us from our sins for eternal lives to serve and worship him uh we will be with the lord right rather than in condemnation and in hell uh, kind of thing and of course, you know, I, I get it. I used to be there as an unbeliever and my reluctance. I I didn't murder anyone, so I'm good. But there's more to that. And what finally came down is like, you know, I'm asking you to then, you know, it'll get you nowhere if you refuse to learn. Just like our kid doesn't want to learn what I want to teach him about crypto and, and bridge that for that. Like, oh, I got this, that. But come on, don't be foolish, right? Um, in, in a sense. So just to be able to wait, to open up yes oh, i'm doing video I'll come back later open up your heart and see what it has to offer okay guys all right well i better go we'll talk to you then and if you have any questions post in the comments below any questions of what and i kind of thought of maybe in a few months when we're, we've all kind of made it to maybe uh have everyone get together as a as events and kind of talk about dreams and how we can 
go to the like the next thing, right? The next what what's next? Uh, also, cash flow. Um, one last thing, I guess. Uh, make sure you always cash out. Move to fiat. Move to whatever. But make sure that whatever you make every single day, that you kind of pull those out and kind of um, budget it. We call it jar system. You know, how, like every month you you get a, you get money right from your paycheck. You put ten percent in, you know, your long term savings and spending. Long ten percent in you know investments, whatever investment, just put in cash, and then ten percent into food, ten percent into your, you know, education, and then ten percent to uh, you know, operating account, whatever. As long as you manage those 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 buckets, when you need them later, if Bitcoin crashes down to zero, you at least have that fiat sitting there. It's all good, right? Uh, but if you don't, and and it goes the other way, you know, now you're screwed, right? So even though crypto is good for now, it's all good, but you still gotta cash it out over time as it builds and go. You know, every day take ten percent out, or every week, like, oh, I made like this much. Take just ten percent out, push it out to your jars. All right, push it out to your jars, and guess what? If crypto comes back down, boom! You can get those jars and put it back in the crypto, and then buy it when it's low, right? Rather than writing it up, writing it down, and you have nothing to show for it if you know regulation comes or the internet shut down or who knows what happens. Uh, and you know, silver, gold, whatever, real estate, cash flow, multifamily, uh, businesses, buy businesses, buy land, buy. Uh, you know, homestead, buy a farm, agriculture, cattle, buy a cow, buy chickens, you know, right? Okay? Because um, then you start to diversify because you can, okay? And then and then buy education and whatever, right? And then uh, make make a difference in, in this world and make a difference for, you know, your existence. Um, um, and, uh, and, if you have family, make a difference in your kids. And don't forget uh, your spouse is priority number one. Uh, because if if you focus on your kids and you and your marriage is, doesn't work, it's all for naught, right? It just splits it down the middle and now now you get half the kid time or whatever. So priority number one is, is that you're good with your, your spouse, that you take them out on dates and uh, you date your wife or your husband, or whatever, and you guys are constantly, you know, as one flesh, uh, as the Bible says, uh, as Christ loved the church and died for, uh, died, as Christ loved the church and died for our sins, in the in the house, I'm I'm butchering it. Anyways, it, it's there, right? You sacrifice and, and and you make sure that you decide together as one flesh, and and, and that you're good as as with your spouse, and then the kids come second. Okay, it's not kids first and spouse. Spouse first then kids and then you always say as a as a family because what good is a family when and no amount of excess success means anything if you're not good with your spouse right that you failed still even though all these business people who made tons of money but then they had you know and like Bez, bezos right and you know you have a broken marriage right uh that's not the reason why you want to be successful you want to be successful in your marriage and family and then have the means to to make those memories and and uh and make that possible and be there for your kids all right okay thanks for listening to my rant we'll talk to you then